Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Dance. Happy Thursday. You know, I've been at home for so long, I thought that I should get a new hairdo. Do you guys like my new hairdo? Yes, I thought it was a perfect hairdo to do a happy morning dance video on there for you guys, but I thought that y'all might like this big, beautiful, colorful bow. This rainbow-ish reminds me of Rivers. I think she has a rainbow bow, and the big bows make me think of all my girls. And so, I just thought that you might like my hairdo today. Maybe I should wear it like this on our first day back to school. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. All right, boys and girls, I am so happy to see you today. It is Thursday, and I'm going to go over what our work is for today. All right, in reading today. We are still talking about space, and today we're gonna to talk about space explorers and spacecraft. So you are gonna to get to read a book on Epic. I have recorded myself reading the book, so you can watch that if you want, because it doesn't have the read along feature. So I either need you to read along with me or read by yourself, but I want you to read space explorer, spacecraft, and just learn about all the different spacecraft that has been sent to space. And there are different types, and they all have different missions, and so you're gonna learn about that today. And then after you do that in your science book um, you have page 123 and 124 and it's also just about spacecraft In guided reading I want you to reread the book today that you read yesterday on Raz Kids you either read animal skeletons friends in the stars or at the library whichever one was assigned to you just reread that again today because when we're reading um, sometimes boys and girls think you know like I've already read that book before but if you read a book the second time you become more fluent it becomes easier for you to read and sometimes you understand things better the second time because you're not trying to figure out what the words are or what's gonna happen so reading books again is really good for you I read books over and over again all right, in Bible today, I have a video linked for you to watch of me giving the Bible lesson. Today, we are wrapping up our unit on Stephen, and we're going to talk about the word courage. So listen to that, and then complete page 120. We're still working on the books of the Bible, so keep practicing those at home. Um, in math, today, we're going to start talking about time. We finished up our um, unit yesterday, and I did um, say in my math video that I haven't had a chance to go through all the math tests yet. So I have not given out any smart yet, but I will do that as soon as I get through all the tests, okay? So, no, I'm not, I haven't forgotten, but I am still working through getting all those graded, okay? It takes a little bit of time. So, that's the status on those. Um, but we're going to be talking about time to the half hour, so we're going to review. This is all old stuff that we've already done. We have already learned about analog and digital clocks, and we've learned about how many minutes and what the five minutes, how we count by five minutes. I have retaught that on a video, so you can go watch that and then complete page 345 and 346 today and submit that to me. Um, let's see, if you want to keep doing the math fact practice, I have some friends in the class who have made 100 points. That is amazing, right? 100 points? So if you wanna keep practicing that, you keep practicing and you let me know your score. I still have not beat 100 points, so I am going to have to practice and up my game this weekend. All right, in language, we're gonna do page 111 and 112. It's a front and back. I think there's a couple fill in the blanks and then a few little, um, like maybe three words you have to put into ABC order and write two sentences, I believe. Uh, your planet assignment is due today, so make sure you get that finished and submitted to me by, um, I guess, the end of the night tonight. Um, let's see, spelling is our spelling test, so I have made a video of me giving the spelling test, so just make sure that you number your paper and then write the words and then submit that to me. Um, but boys and girls, we have made it almost through another week of work. I am so proud of you. Um, and um, I'm not the only person who got a new hairdo. Um, Beckley, I think, has a new hairdo. I got a picture of it. Beckley has a very new hairdo. And Rosalie has, has a new smile. She's lost like so many teeth since we've been home from each other. So, so many things are happening, boys and girls, at your houses. And I love hearing about it. I wish we were together to share and everything. But you letting me know just makes me so happy. So, please keep sending me the things that you're doing. Um, also, remember there is a packet to pick up at school today or tomorrow. I will send you an email about everything that's inside. There is a bunch of stuff inside and some of it we may use and some of it we may not, but um, I will send you an email about all of that or a video that explains everything in there, but make sure you pick that up either today or um, tomorrow by I think two o'clock on Friday, I think is the time. So just try to swing by and get it because you will need it next week. Um, but boys and girls, I hope that you have a great day and I will see you uh, later. All right. Love you. Bye.